And uh, here's the cattails as they're starting to mature. There's still plenty of harvestable uh, cattail stalks or shoots here um, that would be good to eat. Um, but they're getting big. And the beautiful thing about the cattail is that it's not only edible, but it's, it's, it's utilitarian. This, these leaves here, you can do all kinds of things with the leaves. Um, you know, you can make clothing, mats, shoes. Um, there's duck, de de duck decoys. <laughs> um, just all kinds of things. Basketry, um, cordage. And so um, the cattail is real, real beneficial plant. And right now they're they're coming up. The other the other useful thing about cattails is they only grow in water, and so that means that uh, in a survival situation, you know where water's at if you can see cattails. So, um, but it's usually stagnant or or shallow water, so. Um, you'd have, definitely have to err on caution and make sure that the uh, that you purify or disinfect the, the the water if you were to harvest any that the cattails are standing in. But uh, overall, um, they are a very useful plant, and I'm just kind of showing you as they grow. This one here would be an edible. It's next to a thistle. But be careful there. This one's a, an edible one, or rather, it's at a stage where it would be edible. We just pop that up. So they're getting big. And here's a mullen plant that's getting pretty big too. It's really nice and, and soft. These feel really good. Another term for these plants would be uh, the poor man's uh, <laughs> toilet paper. Um, if you're not allergic to the, uh, the the soft hairs on, on the big big leaves here but yeah the um, uh, these are this plants coming along nicely it's gonna grow a stalk I can see there's a stalk down there starting to form and then a flower head so hopefully along the trail here nobody cuts it down I'll try and uh, uh, keep tabs on it as it starts to grow so uh, uh, what is this uh, mullen or for Bascom Thapsis. And here's the yellow dock that's coming up nicely. It's starting to grow a stalk as you can see. I've already seen on the sides of the road that a lot of the yellow dock has already gone to flower and they've already kind of got stocks going. Um, so about a month ago uh, they were lower to the ground with big nice leafy leaves um, like you see here. Um, and still quite edible, um, but this one's starting to mature. I just wanted to show you that. In the same sort of, um, I don't know, enclosure here that we've got here, we've got jewel weed that's starting to, to mature. Okay, it looks like they need a little bit of water there. Well, it's jewel weed here coming up. We've got some thistles, and here's that bull thistle that's coming up. Again, the bull thistle, if you can get past the, the stock down there, I don't want to get too close. That stock down there, you uh, when it gets tall enough, you know, you take some gloves. And your knife, and on you'd rub off the um, hairs and the thorns perpendicular to the stalk to shave it off and to skin it, and the inside is edible. Um, but you got to be careful because of these thorns are pretty, pretty deadly. And again, this is along a path, so hopefully uh, we'll get an opportunity to see these mature over the season here. But this is a uh, bull thistle, and uh, let's see, there is um, right there that's jewel weed. And then we have right here the um, Rumex Crispus or um, Yellow Dock. So you can see my shadow's not casting too. There you go. There's um, these yellow flowers. This is yellow wood sorrel or oxal Oxalis stricta. And. Uh, if I can get close here. These have uh, leaves that look like little clovers, but they're more heart shaped. Um, they're kind of kind of flat here. Let me see if I can organize. There we go. So that's what the uh, the wood sorrel looks like. Yellow wood sorrel looks like because of the yellow flowers, as you can see. And um, this is a good uh, trail nibble 
trail nibble. It's really tart and tangy. These are. Um, and um, the thing is though, if you have issues that you can't eat spinach, um, then you don't want to eat too much of this because of the um, Latin name oxalis. has got a lot of oxalic acid in it and it's not good for your liver if you have issues. But this is a pretty tasty plant. There. And here are more yellow wood sorrel and bloom. Really cute little plant. Pretty tasty. Tangy. And here we have a patch of jewelweed. And patience capsensis. And this is a really good plant to know. It's not really edible. But if you get poison ivy or stinging nettle stings, I'm going to just clip one here. They're really succulent stock here. And, you know, you, you would break open a stock and you'll see this liquid, the moisture, the liquid is what you would rub on um, your wound if you got stung by stinging nettle or poison ivy, mosquito bites. Um, so it's a really good plant to use. And this is what it looks like before it goes to flower. I believe the species will probably flower into have a yellow flower. And uh, it's a really useful plant. And what you can do is you can take to make some medicine out of it or some salve out of it is you'd um, get some witch hazel from the store and crush this up and let it steep and for about a month and then strain it out. And you'd be able to put that in your first aid kit for when you're out and about hiking if you don't have any uh, jewelweed handy. But notice the habitat where the jewelweed is at, and it's really moist. It's usually, usually around moist areas, and we're just off of a creek here. So this is uh, what it looks like as it's starting to grow. It's the broadleaf here. Okay. It's jewelweed.